Well, I finally got permission from Eastern Voltage Research to um, have the ability to show off the um, components of this. I wasn't sure at first if you didn't want us to show this, but obviously I am one of the, be the um, beta testers for his, um, I think he's calling it the Flexi Brute, which is a DRSSTC driver. So this is my system that I'm going to be using to test the um, boards that he made. Here we have the capacitor bank, which is made out of, I think, Avtronics capacitors. 9,600 volts at about 600 na um, nanofarads. There's eight in series, four sets of eight in parallel. And then this is the blower fan that I made. <clears throat> it's a simple 12-volt um, blower fan with uh, 150 milliamps. And then this is a Lexan made um, director that just puts the air into the heat sink, which is a 7 inch by, um, I think, 11 inch, about 2 inches tall heat sink. Which you can see from the side has a lot of fans. And this is the power transformer underneath the Lexan case. I have that there just to hide all my crappy wiring. There's a lot of, um, this capacitors to filter the fans power. This is the driver board which is similar to Steve Ward's design just a little different. This is my inductor and that allows me to change the phase lead on my current transformer. And I had to reroute the LEDs for an indicator on my box just because I used this box in the past and it had a huge hole in the front. So that's what it looks like. And it has B and C and fiber input. And I recently added a ferrite bead to the um, gate drive transformer so that way I would delete any um, common mode noise. This is the gate drive transformer. Yeah, the gate um, board transformer is down there. If I can even get to it, it's kind of buried under there. And then it's using a CM300DU-12, which is the really slow model. This is the bridge. He messed up on the um, decoupling capacitors. It was on the primary going to ground. Now it's properly connected. The um, rectifier that doesn't fully fit two filter capacitors rated at 2400 microfarads 250 volts then I have my current transformer which is my um, OCD and um, feedback primary wire that goes up to the primary and then that's pretty much the whole system and then we have wire that comes off the board, you can see where the old capacitors used to go, and then that just connects to the capacitor bank using quarter inch tubing, quarter inch tubing to a AUG um, audio cable, which doesn't really have a position, it's just for testing by tapping the primary. But that's the whole system, and I'm hoping it would eventually work with the large coil and get me big sparks. And then this is the old driver that I'm using. It has both, um, I believe it's duty, duty cycle, the um, beats per minute, per second actually. Um, then two pots to control on time and off time for burst mode. And then this is all the audio modulation section. And then I have a fiber, not a fiber, a um, optical transistor to isolate my audio device from the whole system just in case anything bad happens to it and as you know it would be mounted to that Tesla coil with the big giant Yoshi on it and my next test my last video was on 8 amp variac this one's going to be limited to 30 amps so I should be able to get 
hopefully 1000 amp run on the same 300 so that will come later because I had to add a lot of grounding to my heatsink my box the driver along with the actual coil itself so thanks for watching